everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some yard sale finds and some vintage jewelry haul. I'm not too successful with yard sales and I kind of give up after a few of them of not being successful and driving around. So, But um, there was one, it was actually a family run estate sale. There wasn't that much there, but I did pick up these earrings. I thought they were pretty neat, kind of um, shadow box, clip-ons, no name, but cameo. I thought they were different and really cool. So I like those. This brooch, nice and big. I, I believe it's wood painted. I thought it was really pretty kind of a freeform piece of wood with some pretty gold paint. So pick that up. Also got, there was tons of dolls, tons of mostly baby dolls, which I found very interesting, but I thought, don't, don't get them, Sally. Don't get them. But I really like the really, really, really old baby dolls. Um, there was these. I just thought they looked old. They're from 1971. And this happens to be Kate Greenway. I'm not, wasn't familiar with it till I looked it up. She illustrated like the Mother Goose books like in the early 1900s and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I put them on my eBay. Um, that was the only thing I picked up. There wasn't that much um, to go by um, as far as jewelry is concerned. I wasn't in the market for any furniture or anything like that. Um, so the results, remember we put some jewelry in the little bath for um, from the dishwasher, the dishwasher tab, and we had some dirty stuff. I should have put more in there just to make use of it, but I didn't. These are them, the ones I threw in there that are clean. The stones are nice and clean. All the gook is off of it. It really does a nice job on things like this. And I had these and it looked like there was a darkened stone, but clean these up really nice. These are a nice everyday earring. So clean that really nice too. This one, I probably have the match to it, but I ended up just throwing that in because there was a lot of gook on it, a lot of just dullness. It takes everything off except for the finish. These had a little wear to begin with. These are Monet and I know I have the other one somewhere, but I like just throwing those kind of things in there and cleaning them up. It really does a good job. So I recommend it. Just be careful. Like when you have things like this, these, yes, they're open in the back, but it could be foiled and it might strip some of the foil off. I don't trust it because it, even though it's open, it's it's closed off unless you want to get one of those canned airs and kind of, sh 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 you know, try to get some of the water out as much as you can. You can try that. Just don't pop the stones out if they're loose, it might happen. But these babies are in good shape. They're weiss, so I wouldn't use it on that. But if you want to take a chance, throw it in there and it's got an open back and it's dull and you know, you want to experiment, give it a try. And remember this had all the green. Still see a little bit of yuckiness, but look how vividly white this is. This really, really brightened that up and took off just about all the gunk. I guess if I would have taken a small toothbrush and went at it a little, but I didn't. I just left it in there to to soak a little bit. So happy about that. So what else were we gonna go over? A few things that I uncovered um, in my stash, not my, not any more yard sale stuff. These I find really interesting and I don't know why. I love the background. They've got a little wear, but the background is cool to me. I don't know what that the black substance is, but it's carved with a little bit of paint. 
and I really love the background of what they're sitting on. That's cool. This, I'm not sure, might be something to do with Nova Scotia or Canada or, I don't know, I have to look that up. Must look that up. This is just this ring that I love. I love these vintagey rings. Is this Goldfield? Um, 14 carat, I guess, yeah, it's Goldfield. I think the RG is rolled gold plated. Only the shank pointing to the U. Not sure what that means. Made in the USA. Don't find many rings with that on there. If this fit me, I'd be wearing it. Love it. This, I don't know what this is. No idea. Some nice screw back earrings. That's a cricket. The crickets are in full force. If you can hear that noise in a lawnmower. These are pretty. I uh, showed you that. Let's see. This hair clip. It's seen better days, unfortunately. This is really neat. Unmarked, surprisingly enough, but really cool. I'm not sure if you can, you can wear it like this or whichever way you want. So that's really cool. This heavy duty, heavy BSK. I do believe it's got all its stones and it's heavy and reminds me of a donut. I remember I was telling that story the other day where I was thinking of donuts and I was upset. I guess I was back at my, my job. I'm still working, but we're not in the building. And, you know, bring donuts. And the box was upside down. It was the Halloween, like, jack-o'-lantern edition of the Bavarian cream type. And open the box and they were all upside down. I mean, that's like, right up there with being chased by a murderer. Horrifying. Why am I have such bad dreams? This looks like the symbol for turquoise skies. I had just recently bought a turquoise ring from them. More money than I've spent uh, in a while for a turquoise ring. It was 150, well worth it because it's made um, actually by Native American artists um, in Arizona. That looks like it. I gotta show you guys the ring. I was gonna do it on a separate video, so I'm gonna show you. I just have to get it out and unveil it in all its glory. It's beautiful. <sighs> okay, this is Seagal Pewter, right? It's kinda hard to read, but got that Art Nouveau look to it. I have to look that up. Same with this one. It's not marked. And I mean, it's old, but it's not that old. But it has that pretty Art Deco, Art Nouveau. I get confused. Love this. And you know, I have a million circle pins, but this one, I don't know if it's the age of it, kind in combination with these stones and the swirlies love not sure if I established what bird this was but I love this I'm going to say it could be is it a kookaburro kookaburro all my Australian friends will let me know this is copper and it's from that um, Bell Trading. And I wish it was a pendant, but I'm guessing, could you wear it as a pendant somehow? Anyway, love that combination. This 
there's no name on here, but you know these little turquoise rhinestones get me every time. Cute little rhinestone ring. This I'm amazed that it's not marked anywhere. I'm really amazed. It's so well made and so sleek. I love this. That would look good on that jacket I was talking about. The blazer with the hound's tooth. Or do you think it would be lost on it? I don't know. I love it. This, I, I gotta put this in a craft lot. This is a pendant and it's kind of like a blister pearl with a turtle etched in there. Almost like the turtle had just laid its eggs, right? Are we on the same page with that? These, ooh. I'm gonna wear these on the first day of fall, I think. Listener. Love those. This is a little bit of a disappointment, even though I still love it. This is a Kremitz. It's probably gold filled, but it's not listed like that. It doesn't have any of the little um, marking or the cartouche, but it is missing a leaf. But we won't be mad at it for that. This, does anybody remember this? I cannot for the life of me figure out. Is this like an alien message, symbol? Is it a company? What's with the upside down five? This little checkerboard thing. It's a mystery, please help me figure that out. These look almost like they're part of something, like a flag or they're trying to tell me something. They're enamel. But they're painful. Listen to that snap. I have the other one here. Trust me, I do. And these love anything like this. I think it looks like a belt buckle, but as I look at it, I'm thinking that satchel that goes on a horse, like the side of the, um, you know, does that remind you of that kind of sort of? I love it. Love them. Love them. Love orange. So, of course, love that. Um, and these earrings. Ooh. Look how nice these are. Who doesn't like a leaf? They got a nice big back, too. beautiful Aurora Borealis with a lot of purple and blue hues. Those are so pretty. Now, got these and it's tangled up with this. Look how cute that is. I must untangle you. Do we know what that is? Oh my goodness, I think I, it escapes me. Did I ever know? I think I knew. I think I knew once. These are glass and they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. These I run across often with, I don't know if it's real jade, but it, I, I think it's, Definitely some coral chips. Something's hanging on. Oh, this. I'm so glad I found this. This is gold filled. I think it needs to be unknotted. Oh, I don't know why I love it. Yeah, it has a little gold filled symbol, even though it's worn. I just think it's old, maybe. It's a cute little jade apple a little tiny rhinestone in it. Why haven't I been wearing this? Is the question I ask myself. This I love. 
I just love the shape of it. I love everything about it. <sighs> this I was happy to see all of the stones in here, if I'm not wrong, because I could stare at something 10 times and still miss it. Oh boy. Dog be heard beep. Oh, I think this is Coro. Cool. Yep. That's very pretty. And this took me forever to untangle, and I like it for some reason. It's got these little matte gold dangly squares with the black chain. I just think it's neat. Maybe it's the contrast that I love. I don't know. This, I thought, oh, I'm so happy I have the little bead, but it's actually missing two, and I only have one. So in a craft lot, that will go. This. Okay, it's dull as far as not sparkly or any stones in it, but I do like it. You can't move these, but I still really appreciate the look of it. Um, I think that was about, oh, these. I don't know if anybody, anybody buys these. I'm gonna have to lock these up. I have a few. This is missing a rhinestone, unfortunately, but I just don't like to put them in craft lots. I don't, you know, not everybody likes to get hair, hair thingies in craft lots. Uh, this, I'm wondering if I should, I don't think it's Bakelite because of the, this part, but I mean, I could test it when I test the other ones that I have. And I'm gonna do that in the next video, test some stuff. USA, hmm. Yeah, I'll put that in the pile for the testing of the, the bake light. This, I don't think it is, but like I said, I'll group it up and sell it like with all the hair stuff that I find instead of um, putting it in craft lots. I just don't think people want that. So I'm not gonna take the chance of, you know, dealing with that. This, I thought this would go with that necklace I have. Do you remember that one? I should have brought it upstairs. Uh, I'm upstairs now because I'm being invaded by very big, not cute crickets. And I don't want to be down there. So, anyways, I'll grab it next time and compare it, and we'll see if these kind of go. It's just kind of mesmerizing, kind of beautiful. I got this from um, Gina, Gina Gay, my pink bag. If you haven't watched her channel, go ahead and look subscribe. She has a, a lot of um, really cool stuff and a lot of sales. So that's awesome. Oh yes. I just wish I had some place to wear this too. Other than the post office. You know what I'm saying? One day, I sure will. So Oh, this too. Oh, this is pretty. This is, you can wear this for Christmas. You can wear this anytime. And it has the cartouche kind of melded to it. And I don't remember what this says. Where's my little lady thing? This is great. I had a really crappy one. This one's still lighting up. <clears throat> Um, Anitra sent me this from I Spy Queens. And also, if you haven't seen their channel, Cindy and Anitra, go over there and take a look. I Spy Queens. She has a lot of sales too. And they're very nice people. So I appreciate this because it helps me. Because I can't see anything anymore. I think this says Star. Yeah. That is a company. Look how pretty that is. I bet you that's gold filled. A little bit of darkness on some of the stones, but that's okay. That's quality right there. Prong set. No messy glue. All right, guys. I will see you again very soon. 
because I'm trying to clean off my table. So I want to show everything so I can move it to somewhere else. Oh, and I have, I made up a whole bunch of craft mix lots and I put them on my eBay. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, except I'm starting my eBay over again and I haven't put anything in there much and they're still charging me, you know, a fee. So I figured, let me give it another shot. So go ahead to my eBay. If you want a craft lot, they're there. Any questions, just email me, vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com. And I will see you very soon. Thanks, everybody.